even here at the Red Hearing about uh, everybody can feel that there is some feeling of depression because uh, there are not as many investors coming by as used to be. But next to me is sitting right now Manish from GP Bullhound and he has some very anti-depression news to share, right? <laughs> yeah, so I guess, um, I guess we are an investment bank that is focused on technology and digital media. We've been doing a lot in the internet sector and so far this year we've closed five transactions and this year this year and shortly to hopefully close another one in in the next few weeks a lot of those have been in the internet sector so i think there is a um, there is a trend that the internet is still performing but the key message i think is that there's, there's capital out there for the companies that perform and the companies that are doing well. So we tell me a little bit about the investments you did uh, close sure. with you. So the deals that have closed recently, one is a company called Greets and Greets is a pan-European player in the greeting cards market. So you effectively go on the internet, you personalize a card, you can upload your photo, you choose the caption, so you can put a, a picture of your kid and all, all sorts of tailoring. And then they will do all of the printing, put it in an envelope, put the stamp on it and post it for you. So you create it all online and then it's distributed to, to so the address. So it's a sort of typical Web 2.0 uh, business. Exactly. And they're coming out with, so they're, they're the number one player in Netherlands, they're starting to grow in the UK, France, Germany. And they also have, um, there's some great innovations coming out, like putting sound in the card so you can record a, a greeting. And the, these sorts of companies, I think, they're, they're changing that. I mean, people people will not go and buy cards from the um, from the shops anymore because it's so easy to do this sort of thing. So they're starting to see some good sales uptick and that's why there was a lot of lot of interest in funding the company. And they just raised money from um, ePlanet and ePlanet were the fund that were also investors in Skype. Um, so bring a huge amount of experience in the internet sector and helping them grow out in a in a big way and then GP Bullhound also invested a small amount with them as well. Okay, so uh, meaning that you're still open for ideas coming from the internet, um, what are the criteria you're mostly looking at? What is the most important for you? So I guess in the in the internet sector at the moment we're looking for companies that are delivering and, and getting traction. So another company we worked with recently was Private Outlets and they, they effectively are an online fashion company where they will work with the brands um, such as Calvin Klein, Diesel, Tommy Hilfiger, Marlboro Classics, all, all sorts of brands and they will effectively take their clothing and then put it on sale at the internet for 60-70% off promote the video, do a lot of merchandising, and you can only, it, they will run the sale for two days. Um, similar to Vent Privé in um, France, which has grown very quickly. And they kept on growing throughout throughout the time that we, we worked with them and saw them every month there was strong growth. And that's that's key. I mean, you've got you to gotta prove that the, the business model is working. I guess on the earlier stage, um, opportunities, people are looking for breakthrough stuff. And it's... There's an old age saying that all the best companies are built in a downturn because you have people on the market that you would never normally get access to. You've got a um, cheap office and it looks like there's a thriving um, community out here and there's a, good, there's a good buzz. But I think the capital will be there for the people that are put in the work. So what do you recommend besides putting in the work? <laughs> it's always good. I mean, you've got to network, you've got to come to conferences like this, you've got to do your research and um, you should talk to people that know the market. I mean, people that have board members or you appoint a, an investment bank or you appoint a chairman that's got experience of fundraising and experience of, um, of selling businesses and personal contact. It's you, you, you're always going to trust a business plan that comes from someone who you've worked with before more than a cold email. Okay, so thank you very much for breaking that positive news and yeah, sharing some positive feelings with the community out there, right? <laughs> no problem, thank you. <laughs>